All right, now that we've got that out of the way, I have to say I am intimidated by audio and video blogging, specifically the camera. I don't know what the deal is, but this is the fifth time that I've recorded this stupid thing, and I'm just, as soon as it comes on, I can't think of anything to say. I just, my words get all caught up and I end up saying stupid things. Which is one of the reasons why I don't like audio or video blogging, because I don't have a chance to craft my words, to weigh them out, which, you know, when you're in a conversation, and this is, see, when, when you're in a conversation with someone, you have a chance to clarify what you say. So, I can record something and I can put it out there and it can be misunderstood, but it's so much harder to go in and actually clarify what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. But, uh, yeah, I don't really like it all that much. But I'm giving in to peer pressure. You know, everybody's doing it, so I've got to do it. Actually, I think I'm disadvantaged here. Um, I am underprivileged because I don't have a southern drawl. And Andy does slightly. And Beth does, or not Beth. Well, I'm, maybe Beth does, but uh, Jill definitely does. And uh, I don't. So my words are very boring. And maybe I should take on like a, a British accent as I do this. I don't know. Anyhow, I, <clears throat> I have been uh, feeling rather under the weather as of late. And uh, it's been difficult because we've got a lot of things going on at church. And I've got a lot of projects that I'm working on for uh, my design business. Um, it, in the church realm, uh, we've been busy with the youth group and with the young adult ministry. And actually, some really cool news. I found out on Sunday that one of the, one of the girls who's in our young adult ministry actually got saved. And she was into Wicca. Um, into Wicca for a while and uh, it was kind of funny because in our Sunday school class we, we spent some time talking about faith and um, holiness and you know what it means to be a Christian and um, then in the Sunday morning service the pastor preached a very evangelistic message and I were oh me of little faith I leaned over to my wife and I said you know what's he preaching on a, this a, you know gospel message for it's you know we only have like one visitor here um, but God used it, so, and it ended up being a good thing. Um, I keep looking over this way. I live on the third floor of, a, of an apartment complex, and uh, I look out on an interstate, and then one of these little side roads. But I think, I think actually, the side road is probably more annoying than anything else because because what happens is there's like 200 feet. It, it, there's an intersection here, and then it goes up about 200 feet um, before it goes around a corner. And uh, f for some reason, in the middle of the night, like 2 a.m., people have, you know, motorcyclists have this urge to try to reach their maximum speed before they hit that curve. Um, my wife has asked for a BB gun for Christmas so she can show them a little brotherly love in the form of a BB. Uh, other than that, things are going pretty well. Um, I've been busy. I usually don't get to bed until 2 and get up around 7. Um, I actually should be probably leaving now because I need to head into church. Um, but that's my life. And I probably won't do this video audio blogging all the time um, because I just don't have the time or the uh, or the stamina to do it um, but I will probably end it there